Welcome back to my channel, Christina from This Mom's Tale. So today, as I promised, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I told you I was going to be showing you guys a thrift haul. So I'd say it's a pretty good sized thrift haul. It's not huge, but um, it's just something that I've collected over, I guess, the month since the last time I did a thrift haul. I'll have to go back and see how far that was. But um, so yeah, just kind of things I'm collecting here and there. So. I think I will jump right in and start with what's right right next to me. So the first thing I got um, was from Goodwill yesterday and I picked it up because I'm doing a fairy garden. Um, and, well, I've been doing fairy garden. I do have a video on that if you guys want to check that out. Um, but I saw this and I had to pick it up. So it is just some fencing and it has like um, some like Christmas garland. So if I want to do like a Christmas theme, but I could always rip that off and use it as like um, just everyday picket fence. Um, and you can go easily cut these with wire cutters and use them for different projects. So this was $1.99 and I believe it's originally from Walmart. So I picked that up and I got that from um, the Goodwill. Um, it says originally $2.86, I got it for $1.99. It's not that great of a deal, but I mean, it's brand new. So I picked it up and I got it. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing I picked up, um, I feel like I'm a little crooked here. Am I crooked, you guys? I don't know. Is that better? I don't know. Um, so I picked this up at Google again. Um, this was a different trip, and I took the tag off. I don't remember how much it was. I want to say it was like 2 to $3. Um, yeah, I collect these little baking molds, um, the um, copper ones. So this one I really liked because it had the... Um, the wheat like picture on it and I don't know it's just really cute I keep these in my kitchen so um just one to add to the collection I just really like it I don't know it's hard to see I'm filming on my um a different camera today <laughs> so if you guys see anything different just let me know um hopefully it's not too bad but anyway so yeah I really like this this is my uh little baking mold that I collect so that was another thing. Again, it was like around two to three dollars if I can remember the price correctly. Um, uh, okay, so this thing, sorry, I don't have everything next to me. I guess I should have done that. Um, I picked up one of these um, like spoon rests um, for your kitchen. It was a dollar ninety nine. I took the tag off because I've been using it. Um, but you know, just simple white goes with anything. Um, I've always, well, I've had one before, but it's broke. So just another piece, another staple to have in your kitchen. Um, I'm not quite familiar with the brand. It says Cordon Bleu, but I don't know if that's, I don't know. I don't know if where it's from, but again, $1.99. So not too shabby. I picked that up. And then um, this is one of my newer finds that I found at Goodwill. So I, um, if you guys follow me a long time, you guys know I like a lot of yellow, a lot of blue, and uh, I'm kind of slowly working on my kitchen. It's kind of just a mishmash of whatever I have, but um, I have a lot of blue right now, so I was just trying to look for things, um, more yellow things, more decor to put into my kitchen. I'm trying to simplify it, but I still want pops of color in there. So I picked this up. I saw this and I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. So. It was $2.99 and it's just like one of those um, commemorative like um, remakes of like the old fashioned uh, Quaker oat cans and it says right here Quaker limited edition right here on the bottom so it's not super duper old um, I guess is the 1984 um, design um, but again I just really liked it it just I have a hard time deciding if I want this side with the little guy or if I want this side shown. So if you guys have any thoughts on that, let me know. Um, I just really, I really, really like it. I like, I love the color. I love that it has the yellow and blue. And I do have a little bit, a tiny bit of red too in the kitchen. So I just felt like it's perfect. This was actually lying on the floor next to the dressing rooms at my Goodwill. And some lady was right there. She, uh, she had a pile of clothes and stuff. So I, I thought it was hers. And I kept staring at it, hoping that she would pick all her clothes up and walk away. Well, she did <laughs> without it. So I swooped it up and yeah, I was being kind of a stalker at Goodwill. So, but it paid off. I got what I wanted. So really happy about this one. 
So that was that. And then, um, okay, let me grab this one really fast. <sighs> okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm so like all over the place. You thought, you think I'd film it, like plan for this a little bit better, but you know, for me, it's hard to, to get my vlogs out there and my, my videos and my, my hauls because I just have so many things going on right now. But this is um, one thing that's not decor, but I have been using it and I have been loving <laughs> this purse. Oh my God, yes, you heard me, a purse. So I got this purse. This I believe is the back of it. And it's just a brown leather strapped purse. Um, it has the zipper in the back. And then the front has like a little um, pocket to shove like your cell phone or whatever. Um, the tag says Cornell. And I love the, back, the buckle detail, isn't that adorable? So I believe it was $5.99. So I paid $5.99 for it and something about it just looked really, um, like vintage but really cute like I just I am drawn to this color on handbags I don't know why I just always am so when I saw this I was actually with my mom and she talked me into it um, so for $5.99 I picked this up I did look up the name on Google Cornell handbags and I believe it's a vintage one I'm not a hundred percent but I'm pretty sure from with my research that it's from the 60s 60s or 70s don't quote me I'm horrible but I believe it is so yeah, for $5.99 for a little vintage purse, I love it. And I have actually been using it. I like how it looks on the side. It has like the three little oh, like spaces. I don't know. It's super cute. I don't know. I have been using it um, for a couple months now. And yeah, I'm just, I'm in love with it. So love that purse. And then um, I have been talking about a um, an antique shop that I've kind of been newly slowly getting my hands wet in there my feet wet how do you say the same i'm horrible no <laughs> but i um have kind of slowly been going in there and getting one or two things from that place at a time because it's really expensive it's not horribly out of the line expensive but it's more expensive than thrift prices and i just i don't know when i see things there it's like you have to get it or you won't see it again so i saw this and i instantly knew that i had to get it it is <laughs> a rug beater and it has the shape of a cow. Um, I hope that's getting in frame so you guys can see it. It has like a shape of a heart at top. It was just really cute. I love the farmhouse look. I like that country feel. Um, and yeah, like it has the wooden handle. It was super cute. I probably paid too much for it. I think it was mm, 11 or $12 maybe a little bit more i can't remember quite it was under 15 <laughs> if that like makes it better but yeah probably way too much but i love it and i just i i put it up in my kitchen and i think it looks super cute up there so my husband would probably kill me if he knew how much i paid for this thing but <laughs> so that's that my rug beater everybody needs a rug beater right okay so these two next things are the same thing um get them okay now you guys are gonna have to help me with this one because I look at it and it's kind of hard I don't know if it's going up or down so I picked these up these are um, I believe they're hooks like outdoor garden hooks I'm not quite sure if it's supposed to go this way and like the bird is facing down or if it's supposed to go this way and the bird is facing kind of like out maybe that way I don't know. So anyways, I picked up two of these guys. They're um, identical. And originally I thought, oh, I don't need anything like that. Um, especially because they were kind of pricey. They were 10 bucks, $9.99 for two. Um, but they're extremely heavy. I just thought they'd be really cute outside in the garden. Hang like a bird feeder or um, a birdhouse or something. I don't know. Um, originally I thought, oh, maybe I could put it in the bedroom or the bathroom. <laughs> something. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure if it's supposed to go like this or like this. I don't know. Which way looks better? This way, huh? I don't know. Can you guys see? Hopefully. I don't know. I really like these, but yeah, I paid too much for them. I know I did, but I couldn't say no. I couldn't leave them there. Um, I actually set them down and walked around for a little while and I couldn't, I couldn't keep my mind off of it. I said, I have to go back and get those hooks. So I did. And yeah. <laughs> so that's that. 
Um, yeah, if you guys could think of any other, other ideas besides putting it in the garden, let me know. Um, I'm having kind of a hard time deciding. Okay, so this next item I shared on Instagram. You guys already know what it's going to be if you guys follow me on there. It's actually the newest piece that I have. I got it yesterday or the day before. I don't remember if you guys are watching this whenever you're watching this. Um, I paid $3.99 for it, and it's something that has been on my wish list. So it is an egg basket. Now, it's not exactly the egg basket that I've been wanting. I kind of want one of those big, giant you know, with the single handle, um, egg basket, but I saw this and I knew I couldn't leave it. Um, even if, cause we're planning on getting chickens here soon. So I can either use it as an egg basket or use it as decor somewhere in my home. Again, I love farmhouse anything. So I just thought it was super sweet. I don't know if at one point it had like the wood handle attached to this and they broke or if this is how it came. Um, but you open it up and so it opens right here kind of like a flower effect and you can put the eggs in there and then you close it up so that they don't like fall out or fly if you have the kids running around with it um, and then it kind of closes up like that so again $3.99 I couldn't leave it there it's something that has been on my wish list um, even though it's not exactly the right one that I wanted I'm still hunting for the one that I want but yeah I had to get it I mean I've been kind of lucky lately um, Find anything that I wanted, just like with that Quaker Oats um, thing. So, yeah. Okay, so this one I picked up. It's some milk glass. Of course, every thrift haul has to have a little bit of milk glass in it, right? I actually thrifted one of these a while back, and I sh believe I showed it here on my channel. Um, but I picked up, and I want to say I paid like seven dollars for it or something. I'll have to go back and look and see how much I paid. But wow, I paid a lot for it. And then I got this one, the same exact milk glass like hobnail um, vase or vase um, for three dollars so yeah like pro like I've mentioned I think in my last haul like milk glass has gone down a whole lot in my area which I'm completely okay with <laughs> but um, yeah I just figured I'd pick up another one for that price and like I can use them um, on either side of my mantle like, bring them out on my um, my dining table like um, to kind of decorate for the holiday or something or when I have guests over um, so yeah I picked up another one for three dollars I wasn't gonna say no so I know you guys have seen this in the past but yeah I picked up another one of those and then this one is also um, my a new purchase I picked up with the egg basket that same trip it was $2.99 and it is just one of those little like footed um, I don't believe it's an ashtray I think it's a bowl like a candy dish because it's kind of small and it has the um it's not hobnail but it's got like that triangle um I don't know spiky look around it as much as I love milk glass I don't know the names of all the milk glass makers so I forgive me <laughs> you're not gonna get that here for me but I do love this and I like the design I like how it's like got that scalloped or whatever on the bottom and then it's got the top like it's plain and smooth. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. Something I didn't have before. And for $2.99, you can't go wrong. So yes, I still collect milk glass. And when I see stuff, I see it all the time. Like I've said many, many times. But like if I see something that I don't have, then I definitely will pick it up. So this last piece, yes, we have come to the end, which is just in time because I'm going to have to go get my son here in a five minutes. So um, the last piece I picked up and um you guys again will have to let me know um about this one because again i'm horrible it was 4.99 and i had never seen a canister like this before it is hobnail it has like a a groove as if something was to screw on top i don't know if it was another piece of milk glass that screwed on top like the lid or if it was like a wood lid um, I don't know, this almost looks modern to me, so I don't know if this maybe is like um, something that maybe Target sold at one point or something, um, because it looks really, really modern. So if you guys know, let me know. I'd much appreciate it. Um, again, I paid um, $4.99, so I don't know if that was too much or not, but I thought it was neat. It was definitely something that I've never seen or had. Um, 
so yeah I picked it up and I was actually considering putting um, this in my kitchen because it, it definitely looks different so uh, yeah again there you go something new something borrow <laughs> you get it all with thrift hauls um, so that was my thrift haul today guys um, it's sorry my little off frame or awkward if I am I don't even know I'll have to go back and check my video but um, yeah like I said I'm on a, a weird camera today so um, check back I will hopefully get a video soon um, I'm gonna try to do some more vlogging especially with summer coming up and the kids being home I will probably do a lot more vlogging than I am now because we won't have as crucial of a um, schedule so yeah there you go I hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time bye